for MMA Plus alongside Joanne Calderwood. Um, Joanne, the last couple of months you've been training at uh, All Stars MMA in Sweden. Um, how's that been going for you? Uh, it's been great at All Stars the past five, six weeks of uh, my camp. Uh, it's been awesome. Re feel really good and feel confident. And re yeah, I mean, look forward to Saturday. Uh, I mean, you're usually you're usually at Dinky Ninjas. I mean, for you, how important is it to kind of you know see a, see a bit of a different gym, maybe get outside your comfort zone a little bit? Yeah, the, I started my camp off in the Dinky Ninjas, and then I just went away for a few weeks just to get away from a couple of things in my personal life. And but I also believe it is good to come out of your comfort zone and. With the opponent that I'm facing, she's different style, she's taller, so I thought it was a good time to go over there and experience something new, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, Marina Morris, you know, it's her UFC debut, you know, she's had an impressive career. Um, what do you know about her so far? Uh, pretty much what everyone else knows about her record. Uh, there's a couple of fights on YouTube. Uh, she's good submission. She's won four by sub, uh, armbar, and obviously she's going to be dangerous coming in. First fight in the UFC. She's won. Uh, she's going to be wanting to make a statement. So I'm, li I'm just set for anything on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I think you've been quite a uh, quite an important figure in the British women's MMA scene. I think since you've come along, it's really kind of pushed on. I mean, how much do you respect the likes of Lisa Higo, Rosie Sexton, the girls who came in a little bit earlier? Yeah, I'm so happy the way my career has turned out. The timing, everything was perfect. You know, I just started at the right time and I've really been grateful for all the opportunities that came at the right time. Uh, like with Rosie and Lisa, that everything can, uh, if that was like five, ten years later, you know, they, they would be here and not, they had an awesome career, but I just feel like everything's happened at the right time. And when you st first started out, I know you first started out in striking, you did a lot of Muay Thai. Before you started training in MMA, how, how many opportunities were there for women to get fights in kind of kickboxing, Muay Thai in Britain? wasn't very popular. I had to travel or most of the time my coach brought uh, girls over to Scotland to fight me. So it was hard, but it kind of it got me to where I am now. And you know, and it led me to MMA, I, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I know you were working for a nurse for a little bit. I mean, it must have been quite, I mean, back then when the women's scene wasn't so kind of flourishing, I mean, that must have been a big step as well. You know, it was a big gamble, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I got to a part of my career in Thai boxing and I was still, I was training full time and, uh, and working full time. So I had to take the decision what I wanted to do and I couldn't keep at the level that I got to at Thai boxing I couldn't keep uh, working full time and yeah, it was so hard so I took the decision and I've not looked back. Yeah I mean so, so back then I mean was this something you kind of had to discuss with your family or your coaches because you know it's a big step really and you know something which could potentially you know tell how your life's going to go really. It was actually my the head coach at the Grip House Guy Ramsey that approached me and he basically gave me a job at the gym he's like it wasn't as much as what I was earning but you know that didn't the money didn't bother me then and still doesn't bother me now as long as I've got enough to train and take my career to the next level then that's fine so that worked out perfectly and the next step was my mum and at first she was like oh whoa what are you doing like but she's she supports me 110 percent so yeah uh, Lucky. Yeah, I mean, I think the Dinky Ninjas are a really, really strong team. We've obviously seen Stephen Ray over there. Um, I mean, how quickly did you take to them? Because obviously, it is an all-male gym, pretty much. I mean, you being a woman, did you kind of fit in immediately? Yeah, I'll fit in anywhere, any gym. Like, I just go there to work hard, and uh, I think everyone else is there for the same reason. So that just works well. And where do you see the future of our British women's MMA? Because I think the thing about Britain is that we've got a lot of sportswomen like Jessica Ennis, Victoria Pendleton, who are really kind of held in such high esteem. I mean, do you hope people like yourself could be seen in that same light in the future? Yeah, that would be awesome and kind of a dream. 
uh, especially if I can kind of open doors for other uh, girls and guys in MMA. You know, it's important to me back home in Scotland that the MMA scene grows and with UFC coming to Glasgow in July, I think it's going to be a nice boost that the sport is needing.